Welcome into Rover Sports. Um, welcome in, guys. It is approximately Tuesday. Um, I believe it's July, might be 18th, and we just completed a film review on Jameis Winston. Um, hope you guys enjoy that video. Tonight, we're going to be looking at a very intriguing matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Oakland Raiders, and I'm really excited to get to this matchup tonight um, and really dissect Tyrod against a vulnerable defensive secondary that even Brock Osweiler was able to take advantage of during the wild card game. Um, here we go. All right, there we go. 12-12 to go in the first quarter. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to put this thing in condensed for us, condensed format. Um, really, really, spoiler alert, really enjoyed this first drive from Buffalo. Um, so 12-12 to go in the opening stanza. Here we go. Um, hopefully we'll get a nice feed, and uh, we do. Fantastic. All right, let's rock. All right. Third and two now for Taylor and the Bills. And look at Tyrod go through his progressions, and then he knows Sammy Watkins. He knows Sammy Watkins is going to be open. He has trust in Sammy Watkins. This is a play where Tyrod Taylor knows it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. He sees the safety. He doesn't think that the safety is going to get there in enough time, and he's able to just throw the ball to a spot and know that Sammy's going to be there to bail him out on the other side. I want to see the play again. Perfect. Tyrod faking out the defense. Sammy runs a terrific route, and the timing is absolutely impeccable. When Sammy turns, the ball is there. Look at this placement of this throw right here to, to LaShawn McCoy. Look at Tyrod get through his reads. Look at him get through his progressions. And this is just sensational quarterbacking play. His feet are stable. He's looking downfield. He's not flinching. And then the ball placement is perfect where only Shady can get the football. And he's throwing against Khalil Mack, one of the best players in our league, in the National Football League. And just a perfectly thrown ball, get through all the progressions. And just really accurate, great footwork. And this right here is the kingpin. I mean, this throw, this is a frozen rope. I mean, this is just as good as it's going to get at, the, at any level of football. You know, this is an elite, elite throw from Tyrod Taylor right here. This is a throw that I don't see many youngsters make. Over defense, Justin Hunter is blanketed. And the throw had to be perfect to get through to Justin Hunter, who I believe from Tennessee, I believe he played with Tyler B -B -B Bray. I think that Justin Hunter can actually be a big-time stud in the NFL. And then um, we'll go up to Coach's film here, here. Tyrod only makes one mistake with his feet, and unfortunately that costs him four points. So Tyrod Taylor here, we're going to have Marquise Goodwin, the track star out of Baylor. I believe he's probably on the Niners. I don't think he's on the football team anymore. But look at Tyrod here. He twists his feet where, you know, Goodwin's going to come open right here. And if Tyrod didn't twist his feet, then Marquise is wide open right here. You just put it on the inside and you got six points. Instead, he wants to, you know, do the pirouette and hit this guy here, Brandon Tate. But uh, the whole thing... Does not work out for Tyrod in the end. So they have to settle for a field goal. 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Let's resume action, shall we? In Oakland. Here we go. Let's get this drive going here in the first half. So second and nine here for the Bills. And I think we're going to get a throw to Brandon Tate maybe. 
look at this. Soft coverage. Again, Tyrod Taylor putting it right on the guys. Look at Tyrod. So organized. Three-step drop, and the ball is out quickly. Quick release. That's the key. I like when quarterbacks get the ball out quickly, get the ball out of their hands quickly, and uh, that's really what I want to see. Second and eight for the Bills. Um, watch Tyrod here. Go through his progressions. And this is just incredible. And, and I also love here how um, Brandon Tate, I love how the guy sits down in the zone, and I love how Tyrod has the confidence, the timing, to hit him right as he comes across the zone. I mean, this is big-time quarterbacking play. This is a guy who's prepared, who's confident, and you have to make throws like this at the, you know, in the NFL. You have to hit these windows, and Tyrod is proving that he can, in fact, hit windows. Here you see E.J. Manuel come in for a play. More runs. Very nice run here by Gillisley. Takes him all the way down. And then, I believe, so So this is a very interesting play right here, coming up right here with, with uh, in the first quarter. Guys, keep this play in, the, in your back pocket, in the back of your notebooks at home. So look at Tyrod. Here comes Khalil Mack. Guess what happens if Tyrod displayed good footwork and actually looked at the rush? He would know that if it was a run pass option and he didn't hand it to Gillisley, he can go around the corner there, easily beat Khalil Mack, and he would have nothing but pay dirt, and he would have nothing but six points. He'd have reservations for the end zone. He'd have nothing but Coliseum grass. Instead, what, what uh, Tyrod Taylor did here is he didn't look at Khalil Mack. His head was not turned properly. And you're going to see the offensive coordinator of the Bills. I believe it might, it might be Romans. I, I believe is, is the offensive coordinator at this time. He's going to make an adjustment at halftime to help the Bills with this mistake. Okay? With this error. But here, you're going to see Shady get down inside the one-yard line. You're going to get a couple of runs from the Bills, and they eventually will pound it in for a touchdown in just about one second. Here's Gillisley. Touchdown. Bills. Big-time drive by Tyra. Ten thirty-seven here, second quarter of action. Tyrod rolling out, hits O'Leary, Jack Nicholas's grandson from Florida State. That's what Nick Leary is most known for. Is that the Golden Bear is in fact his grandfather? But look at Lashawn McCoy. Look at him holding the ball out like that. But the good news is if you're Shady McCoy, you can afford to hold the football out like that. You Shady, just don't fumble because Shady McCoy, he's all about speed. Now look at this play by Tyrod Taylor. This is the old Tyrod. This is him resorting back to poor habits that we talked about last time that he's going to have to fix in the offseason. Good drop. Protection is absolutely perfect. He's got a receiver right here. So if he wants to throw it right here, he can throw it to where only his receiver can get it. It won't be a first down. It'll be a six-yard game. Ball should be out right now. Or if he turns his head here, Marquise Goodwin's wide open here, getting so much soft coverage. And instead, Tyrod panics. And that's why he gets sacked. No need to scramble there, Tyrod. Let's go back for the heck of it. I want to see exactly how far Goodwin's uh, corner was playing off of him. Yeah, all Goodwin has to do is run a curl route, and you get the first down, a quick three-step drop. Look at it. He's backing up. He's so afraid of Goodwin's speed. That's, a, it, that's what's so effective when you have a guy like that. So unfortunately, you know, Tyrod Taylor has a perfect pocket, and this is one of the plays I can critique from Tyrod is unfortunately that move there, he panicked and lost his footing. But then Tyrod, of course, you know, he'll come back the next play here. Look at him step up. That's the difference. He's stepping up. He's looking down the field. He's moving forward. Positive momentum. He's not moving backward. He's not looking to scramble. And that's why there he resorts to his run last resort. Unfortunately, this whole play is nullified by a hold. Everything is nullified by the hold.
Let's go to the third quarter. Third quarter of play for the Bills. Um, watch this series by Tyrod Taylor. So I want you guys, you guys remember the play I told you to put in the back of your notebook, right? The, the play earlier, right? Where Tyrod was going up um, against, uh, you know, Tyrod. He didn't do the run pass option. He handed it to Gillis Lee when, you know, what's his name? Um, uh, Khalil Mack was right, you know, on, on the run pass option front. Um, so you're going to see here a great run by Shady, Shady McCoy. Here's Sean. Look at LaShawn cutting, and this is when Shady's at its best in the open field. He takes advantage and gets all the bang for your buck. Here we go, guys. Point of attack. Now Tyrod's looking at Khalil Mack. Clearly, this is right out of the break, right out of recess. Tyrod keeps it. Voila. You have six points. Good job by the Bills coaching staff. Tyrod keep, keeper for six. So 13-11 to go in the third quarter. Let's try to take it there in our condensed format, show you guys a different point of view. For, let's try to go to 13-11 in the third period. Let's see if we can do that here. Okay. Well, a little too, a little too far. Pretty good, though, on the, uh, on the estimate. Here's Shady McCoy running the football well. The Bills are getting down into the red area again. Here you see a throw that was almost intercepted. Actually, this veteran coach has filmed this particular play here in the third quarter. So I want to get this play right in to, uh, to Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin. I want to get this play in. So, I mean, watch Marquise Goodwin and his speed. I mean, he scares the cornerbacks. The cornerback right now, he's on an island with Marquise Goodwin. And look at him. He's turning, turning, turning. So when, when Marquise throws on the brakes and Tyrod knows it, ball should be out right now. And it is. And it's out and it's safe. A safe out. Smith, the cornerback of the Oakland Raiders, they drafted Gary and Conley to help assure their secondary because their secondary did get picked on. So hopefully Gary and Conley from Ohio State um, can stay out of trouble. There were allegations against him before the NFL draft. If he stays out of trouble, he's going. He's really was a projected high first round pick, probably a top 15 pick in the draft. Here you look at Tyrod. I like how he didn't panic. Just air mails it safely out of bounds. And then you're going to see some good running of the football here from Shady McCoy making people miss. And it's all downhill from here. The Bills are going to take this thing in for a touchdown. And then we're, I believe we're going to get to 24-9. And that's when Derek Carr and, and, the, and, the, um, and a great move there by Shady. That's when Derek Carr and the uh, Raiders are going to take over this game. Unfortunately for the Bills, they're going to put up like 14 points, and they're going to win the game. Um, let's see. I want to get down to third and two. That's the one play with Marquise Goodwin again, where if you're a D, where you just have to realize your coverage, and you just and this was an easy play that guys like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, the elite ones, see that see the play before it happens. And here, way too much respect from the cornerback here on third and two. Way too much coverage given the Goodwin especially in the red area, defensive mistakes. And then the Bills are eventually going to punch it in right here. So overall, I really like Tyrod's performance. Very sharp, very on time, staying ahead of the chains, very accurate, some wow throws, clearly enough velocity. His footwork is so ahead of, the, of a lot of other quarterbacks I scouted, like um, Blake Bortles and Paxton Lynch. You know, because those guys are, are make a lot of mistakes in short throws because their feet are not yet under them properly, especially like Paxton Lynch and some bigger players. Um, Tyrod Taylor, very athletic, obviously, and he's really able to use his feet well. Um,
So here we go. Um, Derek Carr here makes a comeback for the Bills. So um, Richard there getting the carry. Um, I just want to show you some of Derek Carr, what makes Derek Carr so impressive um, before we run because really Derek Carr puts all the pressure on the, on the Bills, and it's kind of embarrassing how the Bills' defense kind of falls apart. But here you can just see the anticipatory throw from Derek Carr. I hope we get a nice angle here as he hits Michael Rivera. You're, you, because watch, this guy's not open, but these are what the great quarterbacks do. And a lot of people want me to do a Derek Carr review. Um, but the point is, I think Derek Carr, almost being, it being an MVP-type candidate, the guy um, is certainly proven, and I, I want to do some some guys that are not as, um, you know, that don't get as much publicity and guys that I think are unproven. That's what, you, you know, like Carson Wentz and, and Wentz and Mariota, guys that have, you know, bright futures. And then you look at guys that have had up and down careers like Blake Bortles. Prefer to look at those types of guys and really decipher whether they can win jobs and be franchise guys because I know that D.C., can be a franchise guy. There he hits Amari Cooper for a touchdown. And the Raiders are going to go on to win this game. Essentially now for the Bills, you look at um, the Bills can't really sustain a running game. Their pressure gets in their face. And a little bit of blame on, on, on Taylor. Um, but you look at, at Oakland, and Oakland just plays much tighter coverage on the Bills receivers. And the Bills, I'm not going to say that they choke, but on the road, they just can't sustain any offense. And what happened was Oakland just snowballed the Bills. Like, basically, there was a 30-yard punt in the game. There was, you know, all these routes were made difficult. They couldn't run the ball a lick here in the final period. And then what happened was... The Oakland Raiders just took over the game. But overall from Tyrod, very impressive stuff. Scored 24 points at three quarters. Should have been enough to win the game. The defense fell apart for them. And Oakland, an elite team with Derek Carr, they were one of, I'd say, I think they were top three in the AFC, top five maybe in all of football with Derek Carr before he got hurt before the Colts. So not a bad effort in the Coliseum for Tyrod and Buffalo. Very winnable game, and a decent fourth quarter would have got it done for them. I'll see you guys. I'm out of here, and I'll try to do another film review tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to Rover Sports.